Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a BMW M3 competition all-wheel drive and next to me is a Porsche 911 Turbo S and why are we having this drag race? Seems stupid, doesn't it? This is just going to get dicked on. Not necessarily though, because this M3 all-wheel drive has been tuned. It only has a simple stage one tune. So Wrench Studios have cracked the ECU, so they've remapped it. No piggyback thing going on here. And as a result, the three litre twin turbo straight six in this just bear with me a second. And are you very excited over there, dear Porsche? Can you just not rev up the engine while I'm trying to talk to these guys? It's very rude, you know. Someone needs to take the keys off him. Anyway, the three litre straight six twin turbo in this car has been bumped from 510 horsepower to 600. Also, torque is up from 650 newton meters to 750. Everything else is the same though. So we've got an eight speed automatic gearbox sending power to all four wheels. And it weighs in at 1,700. I can't say it. Let me try that again. It weighs in at 1,780 kilos. Price, £77,000 starting price for this car. Now, if you want to find out more about the tuning and the people behind it, I'll put a link in the description to their YouTube channel, Wrench Studios. Also, I want to say a big shout out to Connor, who sorted this car out for us as well. He sorts us out loads of cars. So do me a favour, go to his Instagram, put a link in the description. It's at Connor150, so CC Honor150, okay? So let me tell you about a Porsche. Completely standard that. It has a 3.8 litre flat six twin turbo, puts out 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Just like this, it's got an eight speed automatic gearbox and all wheel drive though. That automatic gearbox has dual clutches for slightly faster changes. It's expensive that car. <sighs> 160,000 pounds. So more than double this. It's lighter though, 1,640 kilos. Right. Let's go on with this race, but before we do, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel, right? And hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss any of these uploads. Also, please follow me on Instagram, I'm at Watson Cars. There's something else I need to tell you. What is it? What is it? Oh yeah, you can now sell your car through car wow. All you have to do is upload some photos, description, and our dealers will bid on your car. And that way you can make sure you get the fair price and you don't have to then bother with messing around listing in the classifieds and having randomers come around your house and check your car and walk away and just give you a load of hassle. And the price you're quoted will be the price that you're paid, no messing around. You get your cash by bank transfer and the dealer will just come and pick it up from your house or whatever location you suggest. In fact, for a laugh, you drive it up to Scotland, take the train back and go, oh, the car's there, go get it. Don't do that, that'd be mean, but you could technically. Buy, sell, car, wow. Before we race, we're going to do the customary car wow sound check, but I totally forgot to introduce you to the guy who was being a bit annoying earlier, revving up his engine. It's Juan, Juan Francisco from the Spanish car wow channels. The one and only Juan, how are you doing? You all right? I'm fine, I'm in the right place, in the right car. Yeah, and you're being a right pain in the arse, and I was trying to like talk to these guys, and you're just revving up the engine. But seeing as you were revving up the engine, let's let's hear you do it properly. Go on, rev it up now. Soft limiter. So, good job he wasn't in this, because this sounds like this. Then it'd have really drowned me out. Now that's a standard exhaust. Wrench haven't done anything to this car besides the remap of the ECU. Let's find out what the effect of that is. Oh, let's warm the tyres first though. I'm gonna put this into rear wheel drive mode to do that. Dead simple, I've got it set up. Press this button and away we go. That's so easy. Sorry, wrench and your tyres. I'm sorry, but you want them warm, don't you, for this? Probably not destroyed. They might be destroyed. Hopefully they're just warm. Okay, Juan, go warm up your tyres. <laughs> uh, Juan, go in um, forward. It's easier forward. Don't drift in reverse. <laughs> oh, poor tyres. <laughs> There, look, there we go. Don't crash it. That was quite <laughs> violent, Juan. Very violent. <laughs> Let's hope your tyres are warm. They're going to need to be, because you're under pressure now, mate. Now, I'm not expecting to win. What I want to do is see how close I can get over the quarter mile. 
to that Porsche 911 Turbo S because that is the daddy of standard car quarter mile drag racing. I mean, it's just so good. But how good is this thing with a simple tune? Let's find out. Three, two, one. My reactions were better than him. Oh, is he going to catch me? Oh, he's not going to. Oh, he's coming past then. He needed better reactions than me. He didn't have them, and because he didn't have them, he got beat! Wow, this thing is mental. Oh, I need to gloat. Uh, Juan Francisco, what happened to you, mate? You got beaten in the king of drag racing cars. I think something's happening with your left foot. <laughs> it's really fast. Do you have some kind of tick or something like this? Well, I have quite a lot of practice at doing this. Do you know what? Your launch wasn't brilliant. It wasn't awful, but let's give you another chance, shall we? Poor, poor Porsche got beaten. Oh, it's run up its tires. It was so close. Yeah, I wasn't as quick. This thing spun up its tires. Didn't have as good traction as the first one, so it didn't go quite as quick. Best two out of three, yeah? Okay, perfect. Your car is exhausted. My car just finish the stretching. No idea what he said. Do you have any idea? My dog can't speak Spanish. Gracias. 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 I can't even say that. Useless. Hola. Muy bien. That's it. It's your lot. Do you know what? I'll give it you. You won that. But you've got to be on your A game with your launching to even beat me, though, haven't you? You've got to be honest about that. The car beats you, and the rival is at your point right now launching the car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. It's so blooming close. Well, I enjoyed that, even though I lost. But I didn't lose by that much, really, when you consider that 911 Turbo S is the absolute daddy at quarter mile launching. <laughs> This ran it so close and beat it when he wasn't bang on it on the launch. So good, this thing. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Porsche won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds, while the BMW took 10.6 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's just in their most relaxed, comfortable, efficient, whatever setting. Automatic mode for the gearbox. I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. I think he kicked down a little bit quicker. He's going. He's going to take me to the half mile for sure. Take me to the half mile, baby. It's not far off though. I don't know why he's going all the way up there. Is he driving home? How was that for you, Juan? Was it very, very enjoyable? It has 600 or maybe some horsepower more. It's, in, it's impressive. Yeah, he just buggered off. Anyway. Let's try something else. We're going to do the riding race again from 50 miles an hour, but this time full sport setting and locked in manual mode for the gearbox. It's starting in third gear. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this builds boost so well. I'm ahead of him. Can I hold it to the half mile? Oh, that's so close to the half mile. It's going now, there we go. Do you know what? That was so good. The dual clutch is just quicker at shifting, especially when you're just in drive than this torque converter when you're just in comfort mode. But when you're in third gear pulling, that was so close. So Juan, you did win again, but this time it was a lot closer, wasn't it? Yeah, I think my reaction with the car was perfect and it was pretty, pretty close. And the Porsche was giving all it had. So twice the price, which car are you going to take? 
Uh, um, 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 uh, Porsche. What, with your own money? Uh, okay, BMW, okay. I'm still going with the Porsche because it's your money we're talking about, so I'm happy to spend your money. <laughs> Finally then, we're gonna do a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line for an emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? We're gonna find out, oh yeah because here comes the line. I'm gonna uh, left foot brake this one. My foot is hovering over that brake pedal. What's gonna happen? Here comes the line now. There goes my specialist timing gear. <laughs> uh, oh. And there goes my dignity, because I got thrashed. Porsches stop incredibly well though, don't they? But that is quite a difference, isn't it? Yeah, Porsche won everything pretty much, apart from that one first drag race. But then it's way more expensive, isn't it? Both cars are impressive. Now, if you'd like a performance car, which is really quick, really fun, but a lot more affordable, I found a perfect one for you on Carway, one of my favorites actually, and great offer on it as well. Click on the pop-out banner up there, or follow the link in the description to find out what it is. Also, there's links in the description to the guys at Wrench Studio and Connor who sorted out the car for us, so make sure you check those out. Also, follow Carway on Instagram. Carway, it's simple. Lots of behind the scenes stuff and special little video clips and stuff like that. And as ever, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of these awesome races. Speaking of which, let me know in the comments below some other races you'd like us.